Okay, today I'm gonna talk a little bit about elastics. If you saw the last episode of my Invisalign journey, at the very end, you could see how I struggled a little bit to put on my elastic, like, like most people do the first time they are going to put on elastics. But let me talk about elastics a little bit here. And I'm gonna show this model. This model is a model of the same appliance I have in, okay? And you can see here, how it's bonded to the teeth. If you watch, have been following my journey, you know about it. But essentially you need to wear these elastics here, okay? What I'm gonna talk about isn't just um, geared towards the motion appliance alone, this is just elastics in general. Um, the, th the thing with elastics is that you need to wear them as much as possible, 30 hours a day, okay? Um, you know, realistically, you can take them out to eat if you really need to. Actually, you need to if you're wearing this lower retainer. But if you have braces on, you can even eat with them in sometimes. Um, here's the thing. I think a lot of kids, what they do is they, or maybe not just kids, adults as well. What they do is they go to school or work and they're doing great until they get to lunch. And then they go to lunch, they have something to eat. They don't, for, they don't remember to put their rubber bands or their aligner back in. And then four, five, six hours pass, they get home, now it's time to eat dinner, and then they eat dinner, and then after dinner, maybe they'll brush and put them in. Well, that's like six, eight hours, maybe more for some of you. So you just went a third of your day without wearing your elastics, and here's the thing with that. It takes about 12 hours for that movement of your elastics to start taking effect. And if you're wearing a, uh, your elastics 12 hours out of the 24 hours in the day, well, the other 12 hours, these your teeth are going back to where they started. So you're basically just kind of yo-yoing back and forth here a little bit. And, um, you know, if we get to the microscopic level here, your teeth are attached by these little fibers, these periodontal fibers that attach them. This is why you have to wear a retainer religiously when you get your braces off, because these fibers want to pull your teeth back to where they originally were. Well, same thing with the rubber bands. You just wear these rubber bands 12 you know, 18 hours a day, 18, you know, 18's okay, but it's not good. I want you, I want it all the time because what's happening is that that time that you're not wearing it, these fibers are pulling it back. So 12 hours is as good as zero hours, right? So this is the importance of rubber bands. So if you're going to do it, you need to commit to it. If you're not going to do it, maybe, you know, maybe it's okay to have a, a, a um, crooked teeth or a bad bite. I mean, that's just the commitment it takes a lot of times to correct these things, okay? So anyways, um, the challenges can be that people can't get the rubber bands on. So I'm gonna talk a little bit. We always have different sizes of rubber bands. For this particular appliance, there's a Force One, which is a six ounce. And so my experience with the six ounce, at first it was difficult to get it on. And so I wore this for about two weeks and I actually, at night times, I even doubled them up. I want to be very clear about this. Do not double up, do not wear any elastics unless your orthodontic says this, orthodontist says this, but um, that's something I experimented with. And so I doubled up on the force ones at night for about the first two weeks. And then once I ran out of my first bag, I graduated myself to the force twos, which are eight ounce elastics, okay? So those are pretty, those are a lot stronger um, and they were really challenging to get on. And, um, but, Again, I had to adapt to that as well. So anyways, I'm gonna show you my technique. My technique that I, to myself, and I don't think I've said this out loud yet, but I love I love the name of my technique that I, I'm gonna officially coin it. I don't think anyone else has, has coined this technique. And I call it the Dink and Flicka technique for all you Office fans out there. That, that was um, this episode in the office where Michael Scott and Daryl, Daryl teaches Michael Scott some slang and he thinks it means, I don't even remember what he thinks it means, but it was hilarious. So every time I use my technique to put my elastics on, I think about that. So, so I'm going to try to do it without a mirror, but what I do and Sin, who's actually filming right now, kind of told me to start in the front and then move it to the back. And that's how this started. So I'm going to hook it on the hook in the front. And now these ones are thicker. These force twos are thicker. So the challenge I had was hooking them on the front. So I'm going to see if I can get it without a mirror. If you have a mirror, it's like no problem at all. Okay. Uh, I actually can get the left side a little better. Let's do this here. Okay, so I got it on and I'm pulling it with my finger. 
Wow. Okay. So I'm falling it back to the hook here, okay? And this is what the part where <laughs> in my head, it's stupid, right? I always say, so I want to dink it here where I put my fingernail on the hook, okay? This is the dink and this is the flicker. I know, it's awesome, right? You're gonna think that to yourself. So basically, let me show you on the model here. So I put it on the front, and when I have a mirror, I do that in two seconds. And we're gonna walk over to the mirror so I can show them how easy it is once I get it there. So again, I put my finger, put it on the front here, okay? And then I kind of use my finger, wrap it around my finger here, and put my fingernail underneath this hook in the back. That's the dink. <laughs> and then I'd slide the rubber band back along here and do the flicker. <laughs> All right, let's go to the mirror so I can show you how easy it actually is here, okay? Let me get some lights on here. Okay, ready? Okay, so I got it on. Don't look. Got my dink. Got my flicker. That's it. Enjoy. <laughs>